what I don't know if everybody knows this about cooking is that it's, it's, uh, you have to be uncomfortable with imperfections and compromise and timing. Cooking is a story every day to be made. You know, it's, you're always working on new things and stuff like that. We don't make things by mistake. Everything is designed with a purpose. The best way to get to know somewhere is through its food. So when you experience local food and traditions, like you do Southern Foodways, you can get a sense of the community, you can get a sense of the history and the place. So it's so important to sort of, to sort of connect those dots, really. I think the greatest chefs in the South right now uh, walk a, a, a beautiful line between preserving and respecting tradition and pushing forward. Southern cuisine is so rooted in tradition, so we certainly don't want to forget tradition, but we're also creating new ones as we go and we're pushing forward. The thing about food in general is that you can really make anything, right? But if you limit yourself to what's in season, then you, you're forced to react to a different palette, you know? Uh, and palette I use in the, in the term artist palette. Like the vegetables are the different colors on your palate, right? And so they have different te textures and flavors and properties that can be expressed in a way that can really show a sense of place and seasonality and, and a point of view. And I think that's really our best secret weapon. I think vegetables are still uncharted territory. And what I tell all my chefs is that you need to be able to apply your personality to the ingredients. And if you do that, you find great ingredients. Through that process, you find out where you are, and when you apply yourself to it, you find out who you are. And that's what people really look for in a restaurant or a chef, is they want to know your personality. How does your personality interpret your region?